It's your boy, Henny the Moore, reporting live from the liquor store, man. How's everybody doing? And hey, it is Saturday. So this is the prime time to go and make a liquor store run, man. But hey, we're not alone. We're not alone. We do have landlord from Alabama in the building. The most diabolical. Wait a the minute. The most infamous. Hold the on. most backhanded. <laughs> the conniving. Yikes. Monster there he is in Good the deep grief. south, man. My boy, landlord from Alabama, the trap overlord, man. How you living? Good grief. That, that introduction don't get old. Like, it's just, you know. You just do your boy dirty. Like, <laughs> what have I done to earn all of this? You know what I'm saying? Man, what, what, what have you done? Nefariousness is a running joke, okay? It's not the real definition of the word. <laughs> he said wink. the blasphemy. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're not, uh, we're not doing nefarious deeds over here. We're not doing that, okay? Yeah, ishnay he... on the ishnay. You know what I'm saying? He said the blasphemy. My boy Nate Brown said, "Yikes!" Like, yeah, <laughs> you man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't know landlord was that boy said like conniving. That. Like all the <laughs> all the words that I like, for real. But you know what I'm saying? That, <laughs> they don't describe me though. <laughs> uh huh. I just like to use words like that. That's I, I hear you talking, bro. Hey, real quick, man. Shout out to everybody out there. Uh, in the liquor store in the trap house i see jameson taylor in the building i see uh jane simmons in the building craig uh lofgren in the building kelvin hicks my brother justin kitchen with the six championship trophies he said maybe uh our year will be 2040 the way our roster looks right now Ooh. Seven, hey, it's only 16 more seasons, man. It's only 16 more seasons. Nate Brown, them KJs, 434 Cowboy, Miss Regina Green with the green, Israel Madrid. Salute to all y'all. And we have a very, very important conversation to be had on Cowboys Convos today. Like with Cowboys Convo, we're going to have a very tough conversation uh, this morning, man. Uh, we're we're going to talk about how the hell we're going to replace all pro and future hall of famer tyron smith now i got i got a couple of suspects that that might be viable options for the dallas cowboys but it, it's gonna be rough man it, it's, it's a little ugly right now more than a little i mean it's a lot than... of ugly we barely got a roster out here man don't be like that you ain't you ain't gotta you, you ain't gotta say it even though man. it's true you didn't have to just Go, we go gonna, we, at this point, we're gonna make offensive players play both sides of the ball. That's what it looks like. <laughs> man, it's sad, man. They doing us so dirty, boy. Sad. But hey, before we get too far, I ain't gonna go into the long spiel. Y'all know to hit that like button when you tap in with your independent content creators. Y'all know to hit that share button when you tap in with your independent content creators. Y'all know. Yes, yeah, yeah, we damn sure need you. We yeah, need like, you. Like, for real, for real. Y'all keep the likes on in here. Y'all know to slap the shit out of Stephen Jones. I usually tell y'all to slap the shit out of uh, an Eagles fan. Stephen Jones is a bigger op than any Eagles fan at this point, man. <laughs> he a bigger op because he, he in the crib with you. He, you know, he, he in the crib with you doing doing crazy shit. So he a bigger op than an Eagles fan ever could be. And uh, also, remember, 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 hit that cash app or that super chat to help support uh, the liquor store and the trap. If you cash out a five piece over here to the liquor store, I'll enter you into a raffle to win a Dallas Cowboy jersey. Uh, this is the last raffle because I just said Stephen Jones is the biggest op. I can't I can't be supporting Stephen Jones habits. That man at at South by Southwest talking about Nike and shit. They out here on boats. They ain't did nothing free agency related really. They out here just living living life like they in college. It's spring break and they forgot they were grown as hell. They went and had a, a whole entire spring vacation. But uh, but hey, if you want to enter this last raffle, cause I ain't finna be playing with these boys, hit, hit that cash app, which is dollar sign, hit it or more, or hit the super chat. Five dollars a pop and we'll wrap the raffle up on April the 30th. Landlord, you got anything that you're pushing for or, or you want to tell the boys about your memberships? I'll, yeah, you can join the membership, man, to help keep the lights on. If you don't want to see the lights hit one of these numbers, <laughs> if you don't want the Get lights the to go off all of a sudden on your boy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hold on, it's just like that, that was gonna happen, man. It, it, Make it, sure it you was support to, your boy. <laughs> it, it was up to it was up to these uh, to these haters, and it's up to these uh to the front office. Like hell, the front office came in, took the light bulb out, 
and they put up a <laughs> they put they up trying one, to do your boy dirty, they man. They put up a glow stick. They took the light bulb out, but they they broke a glow stick and left it up there. Like, <laughs> nah, we had to save money. <laughs> <laughs> right, we gotta be cost efficient. I'm over here running my house like uh like Stephen Jones, cost efficient. You know what I'm saying? That's what we on today. He said it's so bad, Henny being optimistic, man. I don't even know how to be optimistic no more, man. I'm sad. I'm sad. It's tough. But we do have to talk about solutions. I guess. Right. So I've let's been crying for a while now. Hey, we gotta I, I can't be too sad for too long. Then I, mean, I start to, you know, it's, it's being okay. like hand Neil and slapping people around and stuff. I'm gonna make you a little bit sadder. Wow. I'm gonna make you a little bit sadder. So the Jets, as you know, Tyron Smith, future Hall of Famer, left. He's joining the Jets, and this is the thing that that throwing people off. They're saying that he's gonna get twenty million dollars, right? That's not really the case. Like his 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 number is like six point five. And he can earn up to $20 million on the contract. It's incentive-based, just like our last one was incentive-based. Because remember, he missed four games last year, and he still made $11 million with the Dallas Cowboys, right? Because, you know, he, get, he gets paid for the games he played. Playing time, snap count, all that stuff was included in his contract with the Dallas Cowboys. So even though it says $20 million right here, if Tyron Smith misses the amount of games he usually misses, he'll probably only get about 13, 14, 15 million dollars of it. So you paid him 11 million dollars last year, possibly would have ended up paying him 12 million dollars on the same kind of deal in Dallas. So why they didn't get it done, I'm not sure. But you know, I, I don't ever expect Tyron Smith to play 17 games. It's not really what I want from Bro. You know what I mean? And they they up here mad about twenty million. He probably wouldn't wouldn't have made the full twenty million dollars anyway. Exactly. Salute to Elena Walker sliding in too. Said, "Hey, HCN landlord, it's the ops. Good morning. <laughs> hey, we we got some friendly ass ops. They told us good morning before they spun on us. <laughs> they spent the block and said good morning. They, they, how you know they up? <laughs> they feeling good over them. Man, but they, they man, been slid been slid caught all the bodies." This is exactly what I feared, though, Hen. You already know that. This is exactly what I feared. 40% of your line gone in the blink of an eye and the snap of a finger. It's just out of here. Thanos snapped our line, bro, and it's sad. But, you know, like I said, man, Tyron, I don't know how much you can actually improve when he's on the field. So I don't know if you can actually improve there. But... Tyler Biotis, you can improve there, but you got to make sure you do the right thing about it, though. You know what I'm saying? Now you got two voids in your old line, man. And if I'm Dak Prescott, I'm looking around like, who finna go out there uh, behind that line? I'm looking at them like, who y'all? You talk me? Man, you crazy? <laughs> y'all better, y'all better get me some people out here. Now I ain't saying that they terrible, but I'm just saying that they risky. It's gonna be risky. It is. And it, I, it's going to be interesting to see how we want to attack the left tackle position. Because, you know, is Tyler Smith going to be a guard or a tackle? God darn it. You know what I'm saying? Let us know what the hell is going on with him. I'm sick well, of this. Well, let's go is through the Is he going to be a guard or a tackle, Joneses? Which one is he going to do? What is it going to be? We need to know. Well, let's go through the, to, through the suspects of who could possibly be the left tackle in 2024. Now, I did not include the rookies. Like when it, when it gets time to look at rookies, we'll look at rookies. I'm just talking about people that have already been in the NFL. And we're going to start because I got slides and shit and everything else prepared. So let's go. Let's start with the the least experienced motherfucker that I want out there. This, this is very short, right? This is very short because you ain't seen much from this man. So Austin Richards, 6'4", 307 pound, left tackle, fifth round pick in the 2023 draft came from uh north carolina if i'm not mistaken a tar heel so i will say this about him because hey if you're wondering how this is broken up the top the top shit is the good shit the bottom shit is the bad stuff he is a very 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 good athlete like this boy was this boy used to hoop like if you look this this man got a back he got a basketball uh basketball background he got very good feet He's explosive. He and listen. He may not always go in the right direction or diagnose things correctly, 
but he's 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 quick doing it. If he's wrong, he's gonna be wrong very fast because he's getting off the line the line of scrimmage very quickly. The issue is this ain't played much football, man. Like he has not he has not played a lot of football at all, bro. Like even when he was out out there at North Carolina, he started playing football late. He started playing football late as mug. Well. Have he, he been training with Duke? I don't know if he's he been training with, with Duke. But I know I know down down show his technique is slop his motherfucker up. That's what I'm saying. He need to go holler at Duke. Um made him mini weather and um get him right, man, because uh he's a technician uh guru over there, man, in the Dallas area. And he worked with most of our players. He worked with Tyler last year too, then. He worked with everybody. I know he worked, he worked with, with Terrence. I know he worked with Terrence all the time. He worked with a lot of our offensive linemen and he helps them out tremendously. So if I'm Austin Richards, I'm trying to go holler at him. You know what I'm saying? You got the physical abilities, you got the uh potential, and you got the footwork. You know what I'm saying? He's a great athlete, like he and said. So we need to have him in the Duke. Uh, school of techniques You know what I'm saying He need to be over there ASAP And he could possibly be a decent player man If he can get the techniques down You know what I'm saying But we gotta see him And the only way you do that Is to give him reps And that's a dangerous thing He need to, He don't need to come out preseason At all I mean They did him wrong last year By not putting him in there When you, re when you really 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 think about it bro Like why the hell would Chuma Doga? playing left tackle for the Dallas Cowboys, you were supposed to be super high on Awesome Richards. Because Chumi Doga was awful. If we were going to be awful either way at the left tackle position, it was better off getting Awesome Richards those reps and seeing if he can, can improve from them. But Chumi Doga is, is, is who the hell he is. Chumi Doga been in the league for years. He's not a good he's not a good offensive lineman, bro. He, he just ain't a good offensive lineman in, in any aspect. At least no, at, left, at left tackle. So I don't know why they did him like this. Will they move up shoulder lean ahead of him? Who? <laughs> shoulder lean. Oh, shoulder lean. Well, let's go. Yeah. Well, let's go is a right side player. I don't know if he had to position flip, nor do I think he's a good enough athlete to be a good left tackle like that, especially with his injury history. So, like, you know, I'm only really looking at the, at the, at the people with left tackle ability right now. I thought he came in the league as a left tackle. I don't remember that to be the case. Let me see. I could be mistaken, but I, ain't, I don't think so. I think Matt Walesco posted been a left top. Let's see. Let's find out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go and Google it real quick. You know, you you know, you're you're sorry as hell if I, if I ain't been looking at you. No, he played left tackle in college. Oh, I thought so. Yeah, I knew I went crazy. He came in projected as a left tackle. Selection on trades, given. But see, yeah, he, yeah, because they had him working as a swing tackle. But man, Matt will let's go. I can't trust Matt. He more of a left tackle than he is a right tackle. He only been he only been working out at right tackle though. Yeah, it's just stupid. We always do stupid stuff like that. You know yeah. that. I, yeah, I, I wouldn't have seen that he played left tackle in college. Looked like he played at North Dakota from 2018 to 2021, fifth round pick. Yeah, I knew I went I tripping that hard. I, I look at him as a left tackle. But if we've been, we been working him out as a right tackle, that's just that's just foolishness. But he ain't been on the field, so I, it don't really matter. Yeah, it don't really matter. If he been working out on the field as a right tackle, it don't matter. Shout out to uh, Sugar Daddy Williams with the three-month membership, man. I appreciate you for your support, helping to keep the lights on over here in the trap. You understand, man? We appreciate you, sir. He just got the cool in the fire flames. You understand? I appreciate you, man. But uh, shout out to everybody rocking over here on my side of town and over there in the liquor store. Uh, I think HTM got something going on over there, but we gonna hold it down. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm in here, man. You know, every time the phone ring, I, I have, to, have to leave out for a second. I told you to put it on. Hey, man. Say, man. It be like that sometimes. Some, but some I, folks I'm, just be hard-headed. But listen, like, all, all I was saying about Matt Malesko, that's how you know they ain't, they ain't trying to play him at left tackle at all. Because he out here competing with Josh Ball, sorry ass. You know Josh Ball, right side player. Mm. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's why I never thought of him as a left tackle. Because... He only been competing for right tackle rips. That could be mismanagement. It's now, a possibility, but, I, but he, yeah. Yeah, he he don't stay on the field anyway, so it doesn't. That's really what I'm matter. saying. It don't matter because he's never healthy, really. So, what's up, Big Sarge? He said the Dallas Cowboys appear to be tanking for this upcoming season without informing the fans of their intentions. It's hard to tank with Dak Prescott. That's another topic we're gonna touch on. All right, so let's let's move along, though, man. We gonna move along. I, listen, I like I, I like Asim, but I don't think he's ready, bro. I don't think he's ready. If we being realistic, I brought him up just because he's on the team. He's a left tackle option. If, if they were they were the word that Brian Broaders used to describe uh, Asim Richards, he said they were terrified to play him. Did that sound like a vote of confidence? That sounds horrible. Yeah, so hell no. Let's move along. So let, I know somebody that ain't going to be terrified to play a left tackle if it comes up. If we get down right to it, if he's dessert, if, if they do the right thing like Spike Lee and kick his ass back out to left tackle, it's that boy Tyler Smith. Yeah. Tyler, it, it's really unfair to the young man, man. Because he, he, he didn't move back and forth, back and forth, became an all pro at guard. But I think you might need to look at it from a, a future future type aspect. Like, you could be the left tackle of the future for the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? That's a way bigger pay grade than a guard. So you might as well just go ahead, you know, get your stuff together and go and move out there. That'll be your permanent move, though. We ain't moving you back to guard. This is your position now. So that's I mean. how I think we need to take it. I mean, they told us when they drafted the, when they drafted his ass, he's supposed to be the left tackle of the future. Allegedly, I mean, unless they were lying the whole time, but they told us he's the he's the starting left guard of the day, and he's the and he's the starting left tackle of the future. That's exactly what the hell they said. Well, the future is now, bro. Tyron Smith is gone. That man is a New York Jet. He's gonna be blocking for Aaron freaking Rodgers. So it's your it's your time to shine. And really, when you just look at the current roster. There's there's not a tackle on the team that's better than Ty, than uh than him. You know what's crazy? Tyler Smith is your best guard and your best tackle, man. He's your best guard and your best tackle. And that's and that's the and that's really the issue. But when you look at his at his background, man, Tyler Smith, first round pick, 6'5, 320 pounds. Man made the all-rookie team as a left tackle in 2022. Collegiately, he had 1,776 snaps at the left tackle position, right? So he was damn good when you asked him to play left tackle for you as, as a rookie. And even as of today, he's the best left tackle that you got on your team because he's better than Austin Richards. He's better than Relesco. If you wanted to flip Relesco over there, he's better than Josh Ball. Josh Ball shouldn't even be an NFL player, we're being honest. Fuck Josh right. Ball. Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, like he's the best left tackle on your team, best tackle in general on your team. So best, best yeah. offensive lineman on your team. Yeah, like there's I nothing. Know, I know they don't want to hear that, but it's the no. Truth. I already said he's your best guard and best left tackle. You you were, oh, you were okay, out okay. here. You you were vacating the premises when I was when I was saying it. But you, oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, man. Like Dallas Cowboys, that's the conundrum. That's really the biggest conundrum. There's nothing about Tyler Smith's game that gives me pause about moving him. It's the it's the game of everybody else. Because if you move Tyler Smith to left tackle, you'll go from having an all pro left guard to a second year undrafted free agent playing playing left guard for you. Is it? Do we have to draft center now? No. I'm saying we move Tyler to left tackle. Move T.J. Bass to guard. You gonna put Hoff in that center? They the what they say they're gonna do is not it's not really about what I want. I mean they they told you they were comfortable 
Matter of fact, man, Brock Hoffman probably knows he got the job because this nigga been dropping hype videos and stuff all off season. Have you seen this man's social media page? Like, I ain't never heard from Brock Hoffman. This man posting like he, uh, like, like he in Hollywood. Like he him, John. Yeah, he been, he, been posting, he been posting like he an Instagram model or something. That, that boy got the word. He got the word. Like, hey, man, it's, it's your time. Like, oh, oh, I got to, I got to, I got to get in shape. I got to. I, you I, make I got, it tell me I'm a somebody now? I got I got get I got to start getting getting better haircuts. <laughs> got to actually groom now. <laughs> like, I got to go to the Gucci store. They can't just see me wearing toms every day. They got to see me in the Gucci loafers. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get the best man bag they got. Like for real though, like man Brock hurts. Brock Hoffman been going been going crazy on social media, man. I feel like he's going to start because they said they were comfortable letting him start. And I've been seeing more Brock Hoffman training videos than I ever have in my life. I've been on social media for for, for a while, and I never seen a Brock Hoffman training video. That was a, that was a uh, that was predictive programming. You know what I'm saying? They like we gonna see what they we know what it's gonna make them do, but let's just throw a sample out there. You know what I'm saying? And if they if they do if they behave too outrageous, then we might dial it back a little bit. Because yeah, let me ask you a question. Do you think they would rather pay a first round center uh, salary in 2024 or would they rather pay an undrafted free agent center salary in 2024? Of course, Mr. Dollar Bill Jones want to pay what? The UDFA. Because sure. listen, if you hit, your left tackle will be on a rookie deal. Your starting left guard is an undrafted free agent. Your starting center is an undrafted free agent. The entire left side and middle of your offensive line would be cheap as hell. And they love stuff like that. They love stuff like that. And then, because they played decently when, when you saw them last year, they can just push the narrative, we trust their development. We seen them with our eye. We see them every day. We see them work. Whoopty whoopty woo. Whoopty whoopty woo, whoopty woo, wee woo. They going <laughs> to... <laughs> They go, they gonna they gonna push that narrative. And don't get me wrong, I like TJ Bass. You know, Brock Hoffman played well. It's just like you just really can't take that small ass sample size to the bank and say they can do that over the course of a 17 game season and the playoffs. I wanna is it a way we can figure out what uh what Brock Hoffman athleticism is like? We only seen so little of this man. Let's see. I wanna see. know if he can um is he gonna be good at pulling and um, pinning and all the stuff that we need? That the benefits that we should be getting from a young offensive lineman. I think I seen TJ Bass pull a little bit. Ooh, Brock Hoffman Rad score was awful. Oh no, I don't say that. I said it ain't so. That shit. That shit said four point two out of a possible ten. What TJ Bass is was? Let me see TJ Bass. Now, athleticism ain't the uh, end of be T.J. Bass, Bass with the shit. He was an 8.1 out See of a that? possible 10. What I just said. I don't, but I mean, listen, I still don't know how this man went undrafted, bro. All I'm saying is the film lines up with the number sometimes. That's when you, that's when it's without a shadow of a doubt right now. That's when it's without a shadow of a doubt. I just told you, it, I, I feel like I've seen him pulling and, and being athletic on the edge and on the perimeter. I can't say the same thing about Brock. Now, what, what I do see from Brock, though, he played to the end of the whistle, though. He going to block you all all play. You know all year. Saying? Yeah, he going to block you all play. And even if he in a battle, he's just going to fight to the end. Like, that's what I liked about him. He came in with some intensity. Now, we, we probably should have just pulled up that Redskins game. Well, you know, that Commanders game. That's when both of them played. That's going to be a nice sample size, a nice glimpse into what kind of line you might have next year if you start both of those guys. Splinter asked where the Hoffman videos is. They on IG and they on Twitter. <laughs> and and, and um, possibly OnlyFans. <laughs> he got a uh, he got an X link over there, man. You know what I'm saying? My boy said he did. Hey, he said when Hoffman played, we had our best running game. This is true. I I ain't gonna take that from him. 
I, I look, I, I felt good after the uh, Washington game. Then I was like, hmm. Uh, the only bad part about it is this ain't our real line. <laughs> you hey. know what I'm saying? This is not our real line, though, bro. Can, can I say this? I got one more candidate before we move on. <laughs> King G, y'all know I'm silly, brother. Don't mind me, man. I'm stupid. He's not Brock on OnlyFans like shit. He, he, that, that man on that bitch order like a baked chicken. <laughs> he got a rotisserie style on that mother. <laughs> he was spray bronze on the suit. Oh man! Oh y'all look, know I'm stupid. Landlord look, going here. Look man, <laughs> look, you ask where his videos at, and you know how we ask these days, like hey. See, I'm used to uh, so, um, social Listen media. It. They be like, what a video is it? And it always be some dirty video. <laughs> you know? oh, it don't never man. be no regular video. Be like, what, what, what the Stanley video at? <laughs> like, yeah, they y'all want. so damn great. <laughs> hey, yo, Go this, ahead. this the final dude, man. This, this is final dude. This is Trent Brown. Trent Brown, that free agent. Trent Brown, left who's tackle. That man? <laughs> he said, "Who's this man? <laughs> Whose man is this man?" I'm just fine. So I hope so, he can come through and help us out, man. Six eight, three hundred and seventy pounds. Former Super Bowl champion with the New England Patriots. Former Pro Bowler. He can play both tackle positions. Started at left tackle for the Patriots, of course, in the 2018 run the entire season. Right, so he got a he got a bit of a pedigree, and if you want more numbers and shit, I can go and pull up his pf his pff stuff. Now they were talking about he now he now listen, I don't know if it's if it's him, I don't know if it's if, if it's the uh, the Patriots. Like he was a healthy scratch, even though he was their best left tackle at, uh, in the season. I ain't like, got Belichick over there no more, so it ain't like they just super strict still, right? No, nah, I mean, I mean, like he was Belichick. Belichick was there last year. Well, hey, well, he probably ain't doing that. <laughs> Belichick crazy, bro. So let me hold on. Let me let me let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. I'm gonna diminish this. He probably ain't did none of them folk. And then I'm gonna pull this up because the man played good damn football. Hold on, that man probably was three minutes late for a meeting and <laughs> got it. So listen, 579 snaps on the season, two penalties, three sacks, but he was 80. He graded out as an 80 overall. That's pretty damn good. 72.8 against the pass, 80.7 right run blocker, um, 346 pass blocking snaps, 233 uh, run blocking snaps. He did damn good. He was a very good tackle for him. How and he's huge. Just three. three. Just three. And listen, the man is 6'8", 370 pounds. He's a big, big gorilla. Like he's, that's, he's a, li- that's less than somebody that's a Hall of Fame on our team did this year. I ain't here. I, I know. on the Ishne. We ain't going to even talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the angry cowboy fan. What's up with you, bro? I what's see you. But yeah, man, like, <laughs> don't do that man like that, bro. I ain't going to do him like that. But I'm just saying, bro, you know, he losing some of his... uh. Superhouse, yeah, he is. It be like that sometimes, bro. All I'm all, saying, all the time is undefeated, as he should be. You, you can't be running around here beating Father Time, Father Time without the steroids. You know what I'm saying? Tell LeBron, we, hey, we gonna figure you out too. But go man, ahead, LeBron, LeBron <laughs> falling off anyway. We doing good, man. We just out here trying to figure out the the art of war. What the hell we gonna do in these trenches? We we strategizing more than the Joneses. He said, "Get him and have him and Tyler fight for left tackle. If Brown wins, keep Tyler at left tackle." Shit, I I would give I would give Trent Brown a starting left tackle position, and keep Tyler Smith at left guard. Cause then you got a super fire ass left side at that point. You got a super fire ass left side at that point, bro. Cause think about it, you got a Pro Bowl left tackle, you got an All Pro left guard, and then. If you wanted to, you can make your your line extra gangs. Then, let's say like, hey, we we didn't invest too much in this line at this point. We need to go ahead and put it over the top. Shit, let's go ahead and get a a, a a center in the first round. Let's go ahead and get a center in the first round. 
So let's say JPJ do fall. You can have Trent Brown, Tyler Smith, and JPJ, and, and then you have Zach Martin and Terrence Steele. That's a fire ass offensive line. You want to know what really grinds my gears about the Joneses? Oh shit! He, he, he oh shit! You know what really grinds my gears about them? What, what's what that? it is is okay. The way you just perfectly described, like possibly the best line we could possibly have, right? Mm-hmm. The Cowboys mentality is not like that though. We just like, is that good enough? You see what I'm saying? We're not gonna try to get the best unit out there possible. We gonna just do like, can we survive? Like, can we play like that? Is that passable? Can we mm-hmm. survive or live playing that way? That's the problem. So like, if you was trying to leave no stone unturned, getting the best line that you could possibly assemble out there for 2024, that's a problem. That's why we don't behave that way. We gonna be like, we got a decent player at home. He's good enough. We got a young tackle that we can just put in there. He's good enough. And we gonna rock out like that. Why we can't have the mentality like, okay, we gonna try to assemble the best line we could possibly assemble. That's not who we are. And that's a problem, man. That's a problem. Oh, though. Uh, salute the queen to a tapping in. She said, if you all are in here and have not subscribed to Henny, please go subscribe on his channel. And yeah, y'all please do that for me. I'm, when I first jumped on the show, I was 10 people away from getting to the 2000 sub mark. So if you ain't already joined the liquor store, uh, go bless your boy. Help us get up to that 2000 sub milestone, man. It goes hey, a long man. way to help your boy out. Anybody in the trap that ain't sub to him, man, go on do that today, right now. So we can go on let him celebrate this while we on the show today. It's 10 people away. All it takes is 10 folks to go and hit that sub button so we can go and get that out the way, man. Let's let's not behave like Eagle fans. We are civilized human beings over here. Go ahead and help our content brother out, man, to reach that milestone. Let's get it done. And this is a very good question, too, by OG uh, Lokesta09. What's up with you, Ken Folk? Gang, gang. Uh, he said, is Lael Collins still on the team? <laughs> if so, he is best at left guard and just moved Tyler to left tackle. Let me see if he's technically on the team or not. I don't know. We I know. signed him for one year. Well, maybe some games. I don't even know if it was a whole year. We signed him for the last bit. Shout out to King G for the $10 cash app, man. I King appreciate G you for the love and support, bro. Appreciate you on my end, too, sir. I really do. Thank you. Hold on, but I'm going to have to find this out because that's going to make a world of difference in what the hell we should do and can do. Because if, if we have uh, Lyle Collins on the team, I'm using him for something. I'm using him for something. And he was a much better guard than he ever was. Oh, shit. What happened? Can you hear me? We can hear you. We can't see you. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know why I, why I did that. Hold on. I'm here. But yeah, he was a, he's always been a much better guard than he ever has been a uh, tackle. So True. let me let, let me do the leg work and see if he's still technically on the team or not. That might be a, a that ain't a bad idea either. <clears throat> Damn good idea. Hey, salute to on to Lokster. Yeah, and, 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 and if not, brought it up. if not, you at least got a, a depth piece. Let's say TJ Bass ain't it. You know what I'm saying? You throw the you throw the veteran in there for a minute. Hey, y'all have a rotation or some shit. I don't know. Hey, they got us in shambles, y'all. They just do. And I know it's some people trying to say, keep calm and you're panicking and I, man, listen here, man. When you watch football enough, when you know football well enough, you did the work, the film studies and stuff like that all year, you know what these players meant to this team and you know what you need from players that's going to fill that position. And the players that we are electing to fill the positions with, more than likely, they just can't get it done, especially not to the level of the other players. So, like, we have gotten worse. And, like, we wasn't good enough last year. So that's what I'm saying. It's not like we just up here panicking. It's like we are we are unbiasedly assessing what's going on. That's all. We have gotten worse. And it's nobody who can tell you no different. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, these positions ain't just the, the biggest starters ever. 
but it is taking your team down a couple notches. It is. Tyron oh. is an all pro. I don't Even see though it. he was only there for some time, he was an all pro when he was on that field. We got to replace that. I do not see where we actually still have him on there. They I'm, signed I'm that man for 30 days. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't. I don't see where he's still on the team, bro. That's that's the sad part about it. It would have been smarter just to, just to sign him throughout throughout the season because the man ain't got the man wasn't asking for a bunch of money. Why we? Why why we? Why do we give these people one year deals on minimal money? You give them two year deal on, on minimal money. But you you never you signed Lyell Collins. You never seen him play. He didn't get an opportunity to get on the damn field because you got bounced so goddamn quick. Oh, you know, what if we still had Avante Collins, Avion Collins? What if we you mean, still had you mean, him? The, you, you mean the dude that they uh hated out? The, yeah, that they hated out. Um and and I thought he did too, but I'm looking at the people that signed future deals. The people that signed future contracts with the Cowboys were Earl Bostic, um, Josh Butler, cornerback, Jalen Moreno Cropper, my boy, uh Princeton Fent. Buddy Johnson, linebacker. Darrell Johnson, pass rusher. Racy McMath, wide receiver. Sheldon uh, Sheldrick, Redwine, safety. Buddy I'm not Johnson saying... sound like a creative player, man. He's not a real person. Chill. That man but... did. I... Why? Why that man got to catch a stray? He did absolutely nothing to you, landlord. Man, Buddy Johnson. <laughs> it just sound like a made up name. That's all. Salute yeah. to him, then. Salute to Mr. Bay. Hey, I'm double checking. I'm. I, I was hoping and praying he was on the team. I don't see where he's on a where he's on the roster. I could be mistaken. I might be overlooking it, but I don't see where he's still on the team. <laughs> Miss Regina, Miss Regina used to be nice. Miss Regina, have we rubbed off on you in a nefarious way, Miss Regina? Let me know, cause Miss Regina be going coming with it now. <laughs> a bunch of no names. <laughs> well, no, none of them folks, Miss Regina. <laughs> you can't spot them in the lineup. You wouldn't be able to. We would be doomed. <laughs> My friend, let me let me check the fr the free agent wire. If he's on the free agent wire, I know he ain't on the team, right? True. Shout out to Mr. King G with the five dollar super. He says it's a shame they doing all this just so they can blame Dak when we don't win. Mm. That's you so seen sad. you seen somebody made that post. They said, look. All these moves not getting done. Don't blame Dak at the end of the day. But we already know who they're going to blame. What they finna do is, King G, they probably finna draft some players, and then they're going to act like everything is good. We fixed. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's doing great. He's great. And then it's going to be like, well, now all Dak got to do is win. Nah, bro. You don't fix a solution that, I mean, you don't fix a problem that quickly. It takes more time to do that. Not, not when you're trying to fix it correctly. You see what I'm saying? It takes time to fix a problem properly. You just don't say, okay, boom, it's fixed. Especially mm -hmm. not when you're talking about the draft. Come on, man. We the only team doing this. That's why it's so frustrating to me, man. Like y'all, I, I hate doing this type of content, but the Cowboys to put me in this situation. Cause I gotta be honest with y'all. I can't be sitting up here selling y'all dreams and, and rainbows and sunshine. I can't do it. So now they done forced my hand to be up here crying and mad and whining all day because they doing stupid stuff. They're not behaving like a real franchise, a real NFL team. This is the position they put me in y'all. So, hey, if, you, if it sound a little redundant, I'm trying to figure out how I can make honest content and make good content. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't help it. They, they getting on my nerves. They not making sense. They're not doing the things that they should be doing. They just not. So I can't, I, I don't know what else I can do, y'all. I'm looking, it said he signed for 370,000 for a year, but it doesn't show that he is under contract in 2024. I mean, you know, yeah, it doesn't show that he's under contract in 2024. Okay, so. Is that the remainder of the year or the year or a year? Know what I'm trying to see. I don't know. Because, you know, listen, you, you don't sign for a year and it carry over and then you, then you get released in the middle of the season. 
Yeah, yeah. So you, you, he just signed for those last couple of games. Look like I don't see, I don't see, I don't see it. Cause I, I'd have looked at Google. I, okay. I looked at Google. I'd have, I'm looking on Spoke Track. I'm looking everywhere to try to find a Leo Collins is still a Dallas Cowboy. We got an APB out on Leo Collins. Look, like, somebody, it, somebody said it sound like the cop from uh, Life, Buddy Johnson. Man, <laughs> yeah, was like, ain't, that, ain't that Eddie Murphy name? That might have been Eddie Murphy name. But that was just, that was it was Eddie Murphy uh, name and uh and uh, the Nutty Professor his alter, alter ego was Buddy Love. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is crazy, man. It, he do sound like a character though. Like I bust it bit. He sound like a character. Hey, salute to uh, it's too easy for the five dollar uh cash app, man. I appreciate you for the love of support, my boy. Salute, and salute, they, and they, salute and they got you a raffle man. Salute, salute. We appreciate the support, y'all. Indeed, yeah. man. He said Google shows in description he's a free agent. See, so yeah, I don't see, I don't see him having a current contract. Spanky Johnson and Buddy Love, yeah, Spanky <laughs> they Johnson. on this team. <laughs> yep, man. they on, they on the squad. All of them, man. Hey, they might as well pay me at this point, <laughs> Neil. Just pay me. Hell no. Man, I'm better than Buddy Johnson. Hey, no, I bet no. plenty on that. I'm better than Buddy Johnson, bro. At what? Whatever we whatever he doing, I can do it better than him. <laughs> man, your hair might be long. Man, I'm better than Buddy Johnson, bro. He ain't gonna tell me. Yeah, he ain't yeah. gonna tell me. Your, 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 your hair, your hair, your hair longer than Buddy tell Johnson. Tell him to line him up. Tell him to line him up. Man, that man gonna hospitalize your ass. Stop playing with that young man <laughs> like that. He don't want this smoke. Bad news, Cowboys. Oof. Yeah, Rick James was spanky. <laughs> yeah, it was Rick James. And Hold on bad... now. Hold on now. Let me see. Y'all doing me that bad on the likes, man. It's 100 people in here, only 57 likes. Y'all, come on now. Don't behave that way. Let's get the likes up, man. We're acting like Eagle fans. Hey, and hit that like button on, on, on here inside too, man. Y'all quit doing us like that. We need to beat up this algorithm. They trying to knock us off our rhythm. So we need y'all help, man. Please hit the like button. Indeed. We 44 deep in the liquor store and we got 36 likes. So anybody ain't hit that like button yet, hit that like button. If you ain't slapped the shit out of Stephen Jones, bald headed ass yet, you need to do so. <laughs> Cause he playing, he playing with us and the church's money. And if you ain't hit that cash app or that super chat to join the raffle yet, do so. $5 a pop to get a uh, Dallas Cowboy jersey, man, for an opportunity to win one. Yes, sir. Whew. The Cowboys be stressing me, man. But Trent I'm so Brown, stressed out. But Trent Brown don't sound like a bad option, though, do it. But it just sound like a blues singer. <laughs> yeah, gotta... man, it sound like he sound like he he singing in the hole in the wall. Man, y'all know I'm too silly for y'all to be doing this on the covers. I'm gonna have to not look. Oh, so y'all can't do that, man. Chill out, relax. We ain't gonna man. have no show. I'm gonna be up here laughing at y'all. It sound like it though. It's all good, uh, the original people. You always show love. We appreciate you anyway, bro. Yeah, I read the original, man. We appreciate you, sir. He said, uh, Landlord, I told y'all last week what future line was gonna be last week. What you mean? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a cryptic message. What, what y'all what y'all up here uh, mm -hmm. collaborating on? He already a, a cerebral assassin. Who we, who we finna take out with, with, this, with this word suit right here? Cerebral, that dude, too. That's my partner. Cerebral be going crazy. That's why I'm, that's why I'm up here looking. Hey, shout out to uh, King G gifting five memberships, man. That's what's up, man. We appreciate you, bro. King G showing out today, man. I, hey, y'all help that man out, man. He the, he the only one that's donating around here. <laughs> and we appreciate you, sir. Hey, you need some assistance. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He, he ain't he too easy holding it down for us right now, man. We yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about it. It's too easy to. But he he gifted a membership to JV, Carl Main, Red and Red, Dre Day, and Big Dallas 8604. So man, appreciate you, Mr. King G, man. We appreciate you, sir. He said I signed a little Collins for like 370k. I think they can retain him if Jerry ain't cheap. Hey, yeah. dude, we gotta sign. We we hey, they might need to give us an option for the fans to be able to sign a player or two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, fit, put a dollar we, in and sign nah. a player or two. We, like, hell, they can't give us that kind of power. Why not? Like, they they still gotta. Uh, I mean, it's all money. Like, look, okay. Hey, I'm. Hey, we need to start a petition for this. 
right? Listen, the fans can donate one dollar a piece. We got millions of fans. Know what I'm saying? However much the, the player costs, we put it in a pot and we buy the player ourselves. <laughs> know what I'm saying? I think that could work. What y'all think, man? What y'all think, man? We put a dollar a piece. We can go buy a player for for a couple million dollars. Hey, save us like two roster spots a year for the fans. Jerry Jones gonna act like he can't read. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, we got a lot of fans in Cowboy Nation. We'll be buying some big people. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we'll be like, hey, let's run. Let's take another five dollars a piece. Now we got a we got a fifty million dollar player. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, stretch the cap out for the fans, man. Let's get it done. Look, well, yeah, we'll we'll have to vote on it. We'll have to vote on it. <laughs> Miss Regina, hey, you can't trust them. <laughs> like, who is this? Like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Miss Regina said they would keep the money. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's a risk, man. <laughs> that's definitely a risk. But look, man, that'll be so dope, though. We can just bring our own players over here, bro. Real talk. I think, hey, we finna start a revolution today. Save the mm. Cowboy fans two roster spots. We'll donate in a pile, in a pile, and then we'll get the player that we want. You can't deny the player either. <laughs> like yeah. if we buy the player, you got to put them on the team. They gonna they gonna go out there and buy like seven dudes you ain't never heard of, heard, heard of with the money. And it's say gonna it was, be a vote now. So they, 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 they gonna they gonna say it was uh. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna say that, that it was a uh, miscommunication. <laughs> like, hey, hell no. Nah. So, said, we're gonna donate the best around to get better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm up here crying. Y'all so funny. we gonna donate to get better, just like we, hey, we better get better, just. Nah, we gonna vote on the names, now. Nah. We gonna have a list of four people. <laughs> It, it goes. Just to vote people then vote whoever wins. That's then. That's then who we dedicate the money to. Hey, we, 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 listen, bro. Landlord we, listen. president, bro. We, we gonna do we, this. We gonna vote for Derry Henry, and <laughs> and they <laughs> and they gonna and they gonna give us they gonna give us Derrick Derrick uh, Harlem. Like who the fuck? <laughs> like, and yeah, we gonna be the right of back. Like man, you know he he he, he played. Three years at, Ch at Chattanooga State. <laughs> Listen, as, man. As the backup running back. <laughs> I'm telling you, we can get it done, y'all. We can get it done. Shout out to Sugar Daddy Will. He said, I got $2 on it. Hey, man, we can do this, y'all. We can do this together. $2. $2 for the Buddy Johnson fund. <laughs> the Buddy Johnson fund. <laughs> that might be a cold word. Hey, y'all, we got to donate to the Buddy Johnson fund. That's oh man, yeah, them niggas ain't feel you. They don't know about it. They gonna resign Michael Gallup with them. Miss <laughs> Regina got me scared. Nah, it was a good idea. She said they gonna keep the money. <laughs> we gonna be back to square one. They Make gonna pull. Job. They gonna pull up in a yacht mask on your ass. <laughs> Steve Jobs gonna block. The, he gonna still block the trade. Like man, what is you doing, bro? We paid for this. <laughs> Eric, so listen, this is just a track record of what we done did this offseason. <laughs> uh, Eric Kendricks, one edition. And then you can look down here, there's like some mayhem after that. There's like rumors, none right now. I'm like, damn, hold up, we ain't got no rumors. <laughs> we, brought, <laughs> we brought back a long snapper, a special team ace, and Jordan Lewis. Hey, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. <sighs> <laughs> Shout out to uh numbhead deal for the four nine and nine. He said maybe we can sign Randall Timmons, Stephen Miller, Dan Percy, and Kevin Baker. I thought we already had them beasts. <laughs> <laughs> like who in the world is these people? Uh, hey. Angry Pile talking about some breaking news. We just signed Spencer Giant. Hey, Spencer will go crazy on the Cowboy while y'all playing. Now. Man, as long as he don't you know bring, about Spencer Jane. Man, as long as he don't bring uh old girl with him, we good. Who? Oh, talking yeah. about uh the one that be rapping. The one be fucking up every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a friend like you, I wouldn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey man, those shows be going crazy now. Uh, what's the name of that show? I can't even remember right now. 
Let's all American. Show. Yeah, All American. Yeah, that show was pretty good. I think I seen all of it. I don't remember how it ended. So we brought back Trent, J. Lou, C.J. Goodwin, and everybody else is just people that, that got either assassinated or they left for greener pastures. Mm-hmm. We said we didn't want you no more, Michael Gallup. It's you. It's you, not us. Uh, we told Layden Vandress uh, he, he should have been taking stem cells. Cause his neck ain't been worth a damn. Uh, y'all, say, y'all say I'm overreacting, right? But just look at this graph. I mean, this, listen. This is what I'm saying. Look, look at all the releases and losses. Then look at the addition. <laughs> we got one addition. That ain't even enough players. Like, well, we got 36 players on the on the Cowboys right now. We got four. Like, come on, bro. We, we don't got... even have enough players. Not let alone enough good players. We don't even have enough players to play a game. They would make us forfeit right now. It be like that sometimes, bro. This is frustrating, man. It said oh, RJ Ochoa, that's who Davin Cook just started to follow on Twitter. And, you know, I'll, I'll be excited about Davin Cook if it was 2018. Man. I would be super oh, excited about that. I would have been super excited about Davin Cook if it was 2020 or some shit. That sounds like something we'll do too. Like, look, we got him finally. We got Dalvin Cook. Listen, they they gonna they gonna sign Dalvin Cook and uh, Calais Campbell. Like it's two thousand. Like it's two thousand eight. Forty year old folks. Oh, Forty year old roster. I gotta restart this this shit. Somebody tried to call me. You know I can't do this shit. I just told you you don't want to listen. See, when you don't listen to landlord, that's what happens to you. Uh, now he's blocking my um whole face right now. So you know, hey, we we build this plane in the wise in the L. Shout out to Law Nation. Uh, I wish I can change the camera view. Okay, that is well, no, we're not. <laughs> but all I'm saying is, we have five minute releases and losses, and not nearly enough additions. That's the whole point of it. So you know. It is what it is, y'all. All right. I'm back. I, like I said, every time I get phone Pull up Cook stats. You trying to piss me off, sir? Jacob? He's on Dalvin Cook. Cook. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Chill, Never now. mind. Never mind. Chill, Never mind. Chill, My bad. Chill. My bad, bro. This, this My bad. Why you choose violence every day? I'm angry. I should be violent. What else you can do? He said, Cat Williams in. Yeah, Cat Williams tried out for the Dallas Cowboys, man. This, this is. Mm. Let me pull a little Dalvin. Dalvin Cook had like 40 yards. <laughs> <laughs> then he go, what, what team he went to? They ain't even use him. The Jets. Remember, then he went somewhere else. Would you pick him over Zeke? Nope. You just like Zeke, man. Niggas, Dalvin Cook ain't do a damn thing last year. I think Zeke had a better season than Davin Cook, dog. That's the sad part. Yikes. Man, hell yeah. Davin Cook had 214 yards and ain't scored a touchdown. So what you saying is he had a Rico Dow year. Rico Dow scored. He had two, 200 yards. Rico Dow, yeah, he had, yeah, in that, in that regard. But Rico Dow yeah. was, was taking them screen passes in like, like it was nobody business. Bro, we let them players like that, bro. I mean, we shit. let them play us. How we let them go up in the season with Rico like that? That ain't nothing against Rico, bro. That's that's on the Cowboys. Rico probably know in his heart that he's a secondary, third running back. He know that. The Cowboys up here doing him like that, bro. And Zeke had 642 yards and three touchdowns. Receipt uh, rushing. Uh, let me see. A hundred. 184. 184. It ain't nothing against Rico, bro. It's like, look. It's like if you was using Steph to be a post player. Mm. That ain't what he should be doing. Your starting point guard is Draymond Green right now. (laughs) Not, Not in the Warriors dynasty years. I'm talking Oof. about now. Come he on, said, man. Julius Jones. Huh, y'all chilling. He said, why Rico? Listen, 
listen, Rico is probably a great dude, man. But he did not have a great season. And that's all we talking about right now. He probably a good dude. You you probably you he, he probably a great son. You know, he probably a great father if he got kids, great teammate. Oh, all that great citizen of the United States of America, <laughs> but he did not have a, a great, great Christian. Season. Everything you can say about a man, yeah, man. Like he's probably like, good at it. He probably great at all that shit, but he's not a great football player right now. Because listen, man was the, the man was hurt all year. That man got that man had an ankle injury for like thirty two years. That man was on the injury report every year, every day, every hour on on the on the hour. He was on the injury report. With, with that damn ankle. They said Zeke had a uh eighty yard touchdown that was called back. It was a hole. Always. Was it a hole, J Recruit? In twenty twenty two, Cooks went crazy. The only thing I say, uh, J Recruiter, I went count running back penalties back though. Cause think about it. All it took was a hole. A hole can change the whole run. Now, I know I've, I've counted like when Ronda Cobb came over here and got all them penalties, but it's a little different for a wide receiver. Like, they ain't got nothing to do with the line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sounds sound like you're a little biased. Cause you were, I, I probably am. Cause you're you're, I you're a pass catching ass nigga. Listen, though, when I think about it, maybe if they didn't hold, he wouldn't have been able to get the pass off. So exactly. you, probably, you, probably can't catch, you probably can't count them, man. You probably just can't count them at all. Or you can count them. And say fuck it. Yeah, I, you I, can do I, saw what, I, I saw what I saw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can do both. Like man, and then you, you gotta also think about the legitimacy of the hole. Like, was it really a hole or was it? Was it an egregious hole or was it a Dallas Cowboy hole? Like, which like, one uh, was? It? He breath. He breathed. He breathed. He breathed on him. <laughs> he didn't brush his teeth this morning. He breathed on him. Exactly. It's so an off ball hole. Still get yeah. all kind of phantom holes. So yeah. It might be yeah. right. Like the whole could have been some bullshit. True, true. Like here, yeah, like I don't know, bro. I'm sad, really. I don't even know what we have been talking about anymore. We've been we just been talking about <laughs> depression. Uh, you know, take this time if you need anybody. If you're going through a tough time, they said we had TP had runs that was called back too. Yeah, if you're going through a tough time, remember the suicide prevention uh, number is 988. You know how you just dial in 911? You can call 988 and save your life. So if you're going for like for real though, I know I'm being facetious, but uh, if you're going through something, if, the, if your life already hard and the Dallas Cowboys are making it harder, you can dial 988 and talk to somebody about your issues. Action pal, you is not gonna make me more depressed than I'm already am. You're not, okay? Sound like you made a great point too, but it's just it's just gonna make me even sadder. Okay? What he say? Where my boy, you read it yourself, cause I'm not. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna pull it up so you can see this shit. All right, fellas, ever thought that we struggle replacing running backs as well? Think about it. Julius Jones, Felix Jones, Troy Hambrick, Alfred Morris, Eddie George. Damn, I forgot we had we had signed Eddie George. He wasn't even Eddie George no more. He was George Eddie by the time he signed with the Dallas Cowboys. Joseph Randall, good grief. And that it man wasn't was just, selling draws and collapse. I was gonna say that was the draw thief. That, that man, that man had a penny tried to have a penny raid in the middle of the mall. Man, Cowboys do you so bad, they don't want to pay you nothing. They got that man stealing drawers and cologne out there, man. Yeah, that man out here ain't like a crackhead. <laughs> Dollar Bill I ain't never paid them country boys nothing. He never did. And I ain't never been to, so yeah, I might as well go on ahead and get it out though. And my brother Numbhead Neil said there's also the star 1995 number to assist. Hey, real talk, y'all I'll make sure y'all take care of y'all mental health though. Like shit get crazy. Uh when people care, make sure you stay here. Now, do what you gotta do what you gotta do to stay here, man. Call somebody, reach out. Hell, you need to talk to us. Hit us in the inbox or something. Hit me up. I know how to make you laugh at least. I I get you right. Oh my mama. He's an unrementioned uh McFan. Yeah, this nigga funny as hell, bro. <laughs> funny man, as that man. was a beast though. That one year. Man, they did my Arkansas boy so bad. Arkansas, man, why you lying? Why you lie like this? This thing about uh McFad was that car he had, man. Yeah, why you be hating on McFadden? Like 
boy had a square bite on some 24s. Man, McFadden. That was, was the best hard, thing about there. Bro. Hardest running back to ever come out the SEC. Uh, it's all right. Hardest ever. Nah. Ever. And I ain't do ever. nothing. Don't and matter. I ain't do nothing. Don't matter. So Don't he matter. better than Sean Alexander. We'll try and get a play. Nah. Hell no, nah. he ain't better than no Sean Alexander. Hold on. Hold on now. Hell no. Nah. I'm, I'm talking about college, nigga. He was by man, Sean Alexander was a monster at Belmont. And then and he went out there and balled out like he won I MVP. Asked, I asked you, was he a Sean better? Sean Alexander win MVP or some shit? Let me look at Sean Alexander's college numbers. And I'm going to pull up Derrick Henry college numbers. And I bet you that Derrick Henry's. Not Derrick Henry. You probably be talking about it. Derrick McFadden. See, you don't even know who you're talking about. <laughs> See, then y'all be arguing with nothing. me. He gets nothing. You be over arguing with me. Hold on. Let me pull up my nigga Derrick McFadden numbers. All right, Shane and Adesano was a monster, boy. And, hey, listen. And my boy still had better numbers. Better numbers, schmumbers. What he did in the NFL. I didn't ask you that. I said he was the hardest one. Shane Adesano won MVP, college. boy. You want an MVP? Did I, did I not say college? Did I not so say college? Playing with my why, guy, are you why, why are you changing the subject? That's not what I said. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. All right. Sean Alexander rushed for 3,433 yards and 40 touchdowns. He caught 61 passes for 792 yards, and he had another eight touchdowns. <laughs> Derrick McFadden did every goddamn thing. 4, he was the only player on their team. 4,000. 590 yards, 41 receiving touchdowns, 46 receptions, 365 yards, two uh, receiving touchdowns, 926 uh, kick return yards, and a return touchdown. My nigga threw for seven passing touchdowns, boy. Now let's Quit. go to the real what counts the most. In that the ain't NFL. what I asked you. We could, this, let's go this, to the NFL. Nah, this is what I asked you. That ain't what I asked you. Does he have an MVP, sir? That ain't got nothing to do with the okay, conversation. Okay, okay. You, you, you see it's how with black folks, you see it's how with black over, folks, bro. you see it's how when black folks lose the conversation, <laughs> they move the goalposts. You see how them niggas be hating on Dak Prescott. You see how exactly them niggas be hating on Dak Prescott. It's over with. This you see how exactly you see how they use it. They ain't got nothing to do. I ain't saying to I said he ain't better than Sam Alexander. I said he ain't better. I talk about. I said coming out. No, no, no. I said coming out of the SEC. He the best running back to come out of the SEC. Sam Alexander came out of the SEC. Derrick McFadden came out the SEC, and he was the goat when he left the SEC. He ain't win no MVP. They ain't got nothing to do what I'm talking about. He ain't get no MVP. So goodbye. They ain't got nothing to do what I'm talking about. He's not as decorated, sir. Relax. Relax. He said Fournette. Ah, oh, hell nah. Little Fournette, hell nah. It was no better college running back than uh than Matt. Well, that was that dude though, but not like he, that. He was he wasn't better than that. He ain't reached them levels. He wasn't better than Derrick Henry. He wasn't LSU better than Mark, good. Mark Ingram. He wasn't better than Big Fadden. Well, yeah, you still lost though. Who? He ain't better than Derrick Henry, bro. Nigga, he damn sure better than Derrick Henry. Derrick McFadden? Better than I'm trying King to see. Henry? Nigga, I'm talking crazy? about college. Why, why you keep bringing NFL into it? I'm just talking strictly college, bro. Man, I'm just talking you Arkansas college. dudes is wild, bro. Y'all, y'all some wild Man. guys over there, right? Then you got Bo Jackson coming out of Auburn. Don't, uh, uh, we don't do that over here, but, you know. You don't even we like don't, Bo. You we don't, don't like behave Auburn. that way, Mr. Perry. He's a great player, though. Can't can't take that from Bo. But Hold on. I'm, look, I, I'm looking at this man... Uh, I'm looking at Derrick Henry high school stats. So I'm gonna have a stroke. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> that man ran for four thousand yards. <laughs> he ran for four thousand yards in last year in high school. Half that dude, that did. That now, man, King G, King G might be right. Jalen Hurts probably the best running back coming out of the SEC. <laughs> yeah, his overall numbers. He the best running back. He had he had one more he had like one more rushing touchdown and uh than McFadden he had he had like a thousand less less yards. McFadden was the entire offense, man. That, See, that, that's what I'm saying. That's the only thing you got because they were so sorry they did everything through Derrick McFadden. Mm. Other te- like other teams had other people, so they wasn't just relying on one player. But I ain't gonna take away from his numbers though. I actually like Derrick McFadden. I'm just, I was just fucking with you, really. I know. 
I, I like got to troll you. I like you know the name too, but they they play the Alabama, so they can't be shit. <laughs> Damn, it, fat was hard. That was the only Arkansas dude we liked over here. You know what I'm saying? That boy was wrong for no reason, man. But yeah, man, is it anything else we got to talk about? Because we can gave them an hour, and man. I know they tired of us talking about other stuff. We trying not to be depressed no more, y'all. This is I'm counseling a, right here. I'm gonna stay depressed. <laughs> This is counseling. That's what it is. Cowboys counseling. Get your mind off the stress that the Joneses have stole upon you. <laughs> DA said that I'm heading out to Oxnard this year. For what? For not, the not, but, not, For the yeah, that, that'd be the only thing. Not, not with this, not with this shit they putting out there. I'm going to. <laughs> he, he going for the weather. For the weather. Yeah, fuck them niggas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, the hill. If I don't pray, but that's about it. See they see they weather too good to even be practicing out though. <laughs> they don't deserve to practice in, in Oxnard no more, man. They they need to take their ass. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you better put them out of Oxnard here. Nigga, they gotta they gotta leave. Listen, if you if you, if you ain't got if, if you ain't got more than than ten playoff wins, you you can't play in Oxnard. Them niggas got four in the last thirty years. <laughs> It, it, you you gotta be rewarded. You you gotta go Oxnard out. You win some playoff games. Uh, you gotta win. You gotta go to the NFC Championship game and to practice in Oxnard. From now, on. from here on out, that's the criteria. If you want to if you want to stay practicing in Oxnard, you need to go to the NFC Championship game. If you if you if you if you lose any earlier than that, your ass don't don't even need to practice in Dallas. They need to take your ass down to Arizona, and you need to be practicing by a fucking cactus. Or well, we heat. just let the good players go to Arsenal and let nah. the other players go to Texas. If, if you were that, gotta if, stay if, in Texas. If you, were, if you were that damn good, if you were that damn good, then you should have took your ass out there and won, helped them win that playoff game. Talk to good players. Y'all, none of y'all niggas ain't shit <laughs> if, if we don't win. None of y'all niggas ain't shit if we don't win. <laughs> take take your high paid ass out there uh, and, and practice in, in, the, in the Dallas Heat. Matter of fact, Matter of fact, man, we go. You got you got to practice in South Dallas, motherfucker. You got to go to South Dallas and practice nice. in the middle of the hood on the concrete. <laughs> Dodge like, NFL, bullet shot. NF, NFL Street, nigga. You got to oh. practice like it's NFL Street. <laughs> he ducking and dodging bullets. Oh shit! You running a route for real and don't stop running. Like, <laughs> shit. We ain't stopping, bro. They, they shooting over there. Yeah, like nah, you gotta you gotta practice, practice the most uncomfortable uh environment humanly possible. I wanna We be, gotta make them remind themselves where they come from. Exactly. Cause this is they too happy right now. They too they living <laughs> in paradise. <laughs> well I am said I'm being very nefarious, man. Very I'm just, nefarious. Yeah. I'm, listen, I just want them to be better. If that means putting their life in danger so I can I have <laughs> better a, a better football product than so uh, uh wait a minute. <laughs> Look, when you mad and sad, you just get to say anything. <laughs> that boy said, they got to put their life in danger. It is what it is. <laughs> hey, man, y'all stupid. But, man, hey, I think we did enough whining and crying. Crying. Somebody spell that. You know you from the South when you pronounce it like that. Whining and crying. <laughs> Crying. We didn't did enough crying in the day. So hey man. I don't know what we're gonna do with these cowboys, man. We just gonna have to have a cowboys collective prayer, like I say every other day. And just hope the guy Will McClay say today this time. You understand? Crying. Y'all know that. If you from the deep south, you'd have said it like that before too. Or somebody around you said it too. Crying. What you doing all that crying for? <laughs> Gr- grandma and them or somebody. But y'all know, man, it is what it is, man. The Cowboys going to have us in shambles, it looks like. And it looks like it's nothing we could do about it. But, uh, hmm, hope for the best. But you already know. Is it anything else you want to touch on here before we ride out? You already depressed, man. I don't to talk to you. Pretty depressed, too. Um, I go by Landlord from Alabama with the sign handle on our social media. Uh, I don't think I can gather up enough energy to do another show today unless something good happens <laughs> maybe not if something bad happens you won't see me 
if something <sighs> good happens, possible. Okay? So that's how we'll play that out, man. But I appreciate all the love and support. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like and share for the squad. It will not charge a card. And holla at your boy, HTM Sports. Yeah, man. It's your boy, Henny Damore, reporting live from the liquor store, man. Uh, make sure on the way out, y'all hit that like, that share, slap the shit out of Stephen Jones. Let Jerry make it. I feel like he's being held hostage at this point. Um, I'm depressed. I'm sad. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. But, you know, same thing he said. If they do something good, I might come back. If they do some old bullshit, you know, I might make a little 30-second video or something and drop that. But, uh, hey, also, man, I'm eight people away now. Salute to the two folks that went and sub. Uh, I got 1,992 folks uh, in the liquor store now. We ate away from that 2,000 sub mark. So y'all make sure y'all tell a friend, a foe, a pimp, a hoe to come over and join the liquor store. Uh, help your boy out. Help the platform grow a little bit. And hey, uh, we we gonna be out here, man. Appreciate y'all for everything. Landlord is always a pleasure. All and in right. the word of West Coast Cowboy, never look down because the star is up. <laughs>